Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then hi and welcome to my video. My name is Molly and thank you so much for joining me. For today, we are going to be doing a declutter. So I'm continuing my decluttering series. So today we are going to work on my bronzer collection. I have a fairly large bronzer collection that I've been needing to go through and to definitely declutter. So for my declutters, I typically head to my living room. So that's where we'll be doing this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over to my living room area we're gonna declutter all of my bronzers and hopefully we can do better with the bronzers um, than we did with our previous declutters if you guys want to check those ones out I'll have them linked down below I did a highlight declutter as well as an eyeshadow palette declutter we didn't do so great but hopefully on this declutter we will do better but really quickly before we do get started make sure you subscribe to my channel down below I post new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday I've also been throwing in some bonus videos here and there so be on the lookout for those as well but let's get started with this declutter doing the same thing in this video I'm gonna be having a gifting pile for anything that I was sent in PR or anything like that that I can gift to somebody I'm also going to have a sell pile items that I'm going to put on my Poshmark and then I'm also going to have a keep pile obviously for the items that I want to keep okay so starting out I have this one from Ofra this is an Americano and I think that this color is way too dark for me I remember when I purchased it I got really excited because I hear everyone talking about this bronzer and how good it is but it's just way too dark for my skin tone so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my cell pile Next bronzer is from number seven and this is the golden sand bronzer and I think that mine is in the shade light I have been using this bronzer non-stop it's really really good and number seven is an affordable brand so I would definitely recommend this bronzer to you guys if you have fair skin and you're looking for a bronzer that looks natural I really really like this one so I'm gonna be keeping this one this next one here is from Benefit and this is the Huli Quickie Contour Stick. I actually really, really like using this. I do know that mine actually fell out of the little thing. I think if I tip it, it'll fall out. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'm still going to hold on to this. I've been really into cream contouring lately. So this next one here is from L'Oreal and this is actually a foundation. This is one of their True Match foundations and I have used this as a cream contour for quite some time now. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass along this one because I think that I've had it for way too long. I think I've had this for years. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. This next one here is from Becca and this is in Capri Coast. I absolutely love using this bronzer. It's one of my favorites right now. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I have this one from Milani. This is one of their baked bronzers and I believe this one is in the shade Glow 04. So I do like this. I like using it in the summertime to kind of bronze my chest area. Um, sometimes I get a little carried away and I like to bronze my chest to match my face. And I feel like I like using this for it. It does look like it has glitter in it, but it really doesn't when you apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. So this next one here, this is from Vita Libre, I believe I'm saying that right. And this is actually supposed to be a self tanning bronzer. So it's actually supposed to help tan your skin. Um, I haven't used it. I've had it for quite some time. I need to use it still. So I want to keep it just because I haven't got to give it a try. Just because when I did get it, it wasn't really time to be bronzed like that. So I think I want to try this out in the summertime. Nelson, did you want to join? Yeah? Next bronzer I have here is from Almay and this is in Sunkissed and I do really like the color of this bronzer. I think it's really pretty when you mix it all together. Really, really like it. But to be honest, I don't really use it a ton. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one in my gifting pile. Okay, so this next one is actually from Victoria's Secret and it is a bronzer that I have held dear and near to my heart because I was obsessed with this bronzer and they stopped making it. This is in Goddess. And so I would use this only like for special occasions because I actually really, really like this bronzer. Um, but I would try not to use it very much because I knew that they didn't make it anymore and I like it that much. Um, so I'm going to continue to use this just on special occasions because I do really like this. Next one I have here is from Lottie London and this is the Tan Time Bronzer. And I do think that this is a pretty bronzer, but I think it is a little bit too dark for me right now. Maybe in the summertime I can come back to it um, if I don't gift it to someone by then. But I think I'm going to put this in my gifting pile and maybe it will match someone else better. 
next one here is actually a Maybelline Fit Foundation. This is a stick foundation just in a darker shade. This one is in Toffee. Um, I think that this sometimes works as a really good hack is to just get foundation sticks that are a little bit too dark for you so you can use them to cream contour. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my gifting pile just because I feel like I have other creamed contours that I like better than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my gifting pile. But this next little one here is from Lorac, and this is their tantalizer, and this is in the shade Matte Tan. So I actually really, really like this tiny little um, compact right here. I want to get the full-size one. I think this is just like a deluxe one, and it's so, so tiny, and it's hard to get my brush in here, but I really like the color of it, and I really like the formula. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I do like using it when I travel as well. I feel the same way about this one. So I actually have two of them. So this is the Ciate London bronzer in bamboo. This is one of my favorite bronzers and I just have two little travel ones right now. I went through my full one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these because I like using this bronzer and I like having the little travel ones when I do travel. Um, but I need to go ahead and purchase a full size one once I run out of these. The next one here is from Tarte and this is the Park F Princess and I believe this one is just like a deluxe one. I think if I'm correct, I have a full size one here. Yes, this is my Park F Princess in my full size one and I really, really like this bronzer. So I don't need it in two different sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep the full size and then maybe I can just sell this tiny one because it is a good size for a deluxe size but I just don't need two of them. So I'm gonna put this one in my sell pile and then I'm gonna put this full size one in my keep pile. I have another bronzer from Tarte, so this is in Hotel Airs, and I do really like the formula of these Tarte bronzers. I think that this is a little dark for me right now, um, but I think in the summertime, if I get a nice tan, it might look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait till the summer and see if this matches me, because I do really like the formula of it. And if it doesn't match me by the summer, then I'll go ahead and pass it along, but I think I'm gonna keep this for now. Next one right here is one of my absolute favorite bronzers. I have been using this for years. This is the Hula bronzer from Benefit. Only thing I don't like about this is I feel like the packaging is a little bit annoying just because it's kind of in this box. I do have another one deep pan somewhere in my collection, um, but I do love this bronzer. It's one of my absolute favorites. It works really well for my skin tone, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Next one I have here is a contour and highlighting stick, and this is from Found Beauty. I actually hardly ever use this. I don't really think it's very great. Um, I just think that it's just a little bit too I don't know how to explain it. It's just too um, too kind of chalky on me. I feel like it's really hard to blend out. I do like other products from Found, but I don't really care much for this one. I'm going to go ahead and pass it along and see if someone else will like it. So next I have two different concealers from LA Girl. These are their Pro Conceals. I really, really like using these to contour. I have two different shades. Um, I have the shade Almond, and then I also have the shade Medium Beige. I think that Almond is just a little bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep this one, and then I'm gonna get rid of this one, put this one in my gifting pile. Next one here that I have is from Thrive Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Sun Chaser. I really, really like using this bronzer. I really like the formula of it, and I really like supporting a Thrive. I feel like they are a great company so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This next one I have here is from Catrice. This is just their Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. So I do think that this color really really matches me really well. I actually haven't had the chance to try this out yet but I do want to try it so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Next one I have here is from Wet n Wild and this is a contouring palette and this is in Dolce Let Dolce Lit, I can't say that word, but this is the bronzer and it has a highlighting shade in there as well. I picked this up and I think that this bronzer is just a little bit too dark for my skin tone and I do really like this um, powder to use to set my face, but I do have another one that has it, I believe, in like a single form. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my cell pile. The next bronzer I have here is from Motives and this is in Hampton Socialite and I actually really, really like using this. I really like the formula of it. I really like Motive Cosmetics and I think that this is like my perfect bronzing shade for when I am fair. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. The next one I have here is from Physicians Formula and I really honestly purchased this just for the packaging. Like if I'm if I'm being 100% honest. This has a Paris themed, you can kind of see. I've used it a little bit so it's kind of worn out. But this has a Paris um, theme here and that is why I purchased this because I love Paris and I needed it in my collection. But honestly since that part is kind of worn away, um, I haven't really used it too much. I got it, I used it a lot when I first got it, but since I purchased it, I haven't really used it a bunch. I think I have other ones that I like better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my cell pile. 
The next one here is from Estee Lauder and this is the Bronze Goddess. I have mine in the shade Light. I have been in love with this bronzer, you guys. If you have fair skin, this is gonna look so good on you. The formula is amazing. This pan size is huge and I definitely recommend this bronzer. I've been using it a lot lately. Next one here is the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. I actually really, really like this bronzer. I waited a long time to purchase this bronzer because I was kind of like, it's kind of one of those things where I felt like, is it just a YouTube thing? Like, are people only talking about it <laughs> um, because of YouTube? But uh, I actually like it. I think it's a really nice bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. And I love the packaging. It's just so compact and so easy to store. I do have a few palettes in this declutter, but I didn't wanna do all of my face palettes just because I feel like this video would be way too long. And I wanna do maybe just like a whole face palettes declutter because I have a lot of highlighting palettes um, as well. So I do have a few of them in here. One of them is this one from Motives and this is their contour bronze and highlighting palette. So I actually really like that this is so compact and I really like this palette. But my problem with it is, is this shade right here, which is the bronzing shade, is very similar to the bronzer I just kept. And then I feel like the contour shade, I have a lot of shades that are very similar to this. And also I have another powder from them that looks just like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my gifting pile and maybe someone else will get used out of having everything in one compact. The next one I have is the Cameo Contour from Pure Cosmetics. I love this contour stick. I use it I would say probably five out of seven days. Like I use this almost every single day. I love using it for cream contouring. I don't really use the highlighting side so much. I just like using it for the um, cream contour on the other side. I feel like it's the perfect shade for me and I really, really like using it. It blends out really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Well, this next one is actually more of like a cream highlight, but I would use this more to a bronze. This is from CoverGirl and this is the Vitalist Go Glow. So I actually, whoops, I actually have used the um, lighter shade of this to go ahead and use it to highlight, but I did like the formula, but I don't think I need another bronzing highlight just because I feel like I have those ones from Cover FX and I have a few other highlighting ones that I will use more than this. So I'm gonna put this one in a giveaway for you guys and hopefully someone else can use this. But this next bronzer I have here is from Too Faced and this is in Snow Bunny and mine is <laughs> very much hitting pan. I feel like I still use this though. I basically ran out of the darkest bronzing shade because I feel like that's what I use the most. But I really like dusting this all over my face just for like a really subtle glow. I do need to go ahead and replace it so that I can get that middle shade in there too. But I still kind of use these ones from time to time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one even knowing I should get rid of it and replace it. I'm gonna keep it. Next one is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Mine has definitely seen better days. We're definitely hitting pan on it. I really, really love using this. It's a really easy to use bronzer because I feel like it is very forgiving in the way that you can apply a ton of it, but still not look super bronze. Like it's definitely very buildable, which is what I like about it. And I feel like it looks good on anyone. And I love the smell of it as well. I'm gonna keep this one. So this next one here is the Master Bronze and Highlighting Kit from Maybelline. I actually really, really like this palette. If I was recommending a drugstore bronzing palette to you guys, this would be the one that I would recommend. The highlight in here is absolutely gorgeous. And I really like this shade right here for me to um, bronze. And then I like using this one right here to contour because I feel like they work really well for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this little palette here. Next one here is another Victoria's Secret one. So this is their Mega Glow Bronzer. I know I've had this forever, like a long time. And I actually really like the formula of this. I really actually really like it. And I like how compact it is and how small it is. But honestly, I never really reach for it just because I have other bronzers um, that I feel like have a very similar color to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my gifting pile. This next one here is from Pop Beauty and this is their Pow Wow Powder. So this has four different um, bronzers or contours in here. I actually haven't really used this one that much. So I don't know if I should keep it or not because I do wanna still use it. Uh, it's so hard because I feel like I didn't do very well with this declutter. Um, so I don't know, you guys, should I keep it? I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'm gonna put it in my gifting pile because I haven't really reached for it and I don't think I really need it. I think I have a lot of similar colors that I kept from other brands. And how many bronzers do you really need, Molly? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my gifting pile. 
This last one here, this is from Chanel. This is my most priciest bronzer that I own. This is the Sole Tan de Chanel, I think is how you say it. And this is a cream contour. And I am very strategic with when I use this because I feel like I don't want to use it all up because it is so expensive. I think this is like $60 for this bronzer. And I feel like I just can't, I can't get on board with that but I like it so much. So if I had, if it was in, more inexpensive, I would use it every single day. But the fact that it is that much money, I only use it like when I'm feeling like I need to be a little bit extra or I want my face to look really, really nice that day, which you want every day, but I just can't afford it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and I'm gonna keep using it just sporadically because ain't nobody got time to spend $60 on a bronzer. All right, so here's where we're at right now. So I have 23 bronzers right here that I am keeping. I have four right here that I'm going to sell. I have one for a giveaway, for a future giveaway for you guys. One that I need to trash because it's really old. And then I have eight right here that I'm gonna go ahead and gift to a friend or a family member. So I think we're not doing so well with our keep pile over here. So I need to get rid of a few more. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and put this one from Catrice in a future giveaway for you guys because like I said, I haven't used it yet. So it's unopened or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one from LA Girl. This is the uh, Pro Conceal Concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my gifting pile because I just don't reach for as much just because I have these other two cream contours from Pure and from Benefit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And I think I'm feeling pretty good about the ones I'm keeping. I pretty much use all of these. Um, so that makes me feel pretty good about it. And I think that there is a few that I wanna use in the summertime, um, but I don't wanna get rid of them quite yet in case they work out for me in the summer. So we'll revisit this in the summer. But yeah, let me know how you guys think I did. So the final count is I am going to be keeping 21 bronzers. We are going to be selling four. I have two for a giveaway, one for trash, and then I have nine here that I'm gonna be gifting to a friend. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this declutter. Let me know how you think I did down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys go, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.